Hello YouTube, this is Phantom Roy, and welcome to Mad Madness. In this tournament, it's win or go home and anything can happen. It's an AFC matchup today in Lincoln Financial in Philadelphia. So who you got in this one? Let us know in the comments below before the game, and subscribe to follow the action as it happens. So without further ado, it's the Colts, it's the Texans, it's Mad Madness. And it's time to get going. So it seems that the Texans will get the ball to start the game. Which means that the Colts will get the ball first to start the second half. And the kick is away. It's going to get knocked out of bounds for a touchback. And here comes TJ Yates. Sean Watson is still on IR. So Yates is going to come out. And remember that all QBs in Mad Madness have at least have an 80 minimum so if your quarterbacks over 80 his stats aren't affected but all QBs will have an 80 at least and he's gonna come out under center Miller jukes the defender jukes two and he's brought down after a gain of 11 on first down he made some moves on that play. And it's a good start for the Texans. Just a simple halfback stretch, and when you have a running back that can make men miss and turn that into some rack yards, that's very valuable in the NFL. And the Texans come out for their second play. Yates under center. Fakes the handoff, and he's going to throw for the first time. And he's got Hopkins. So that's a gain of 21 yards. And the Texans are marching. Excellent play call calling the play action fake after a successful run and I think Bill O'Brien right there he he's one of the more overlooked coaches in the league he hasn't had a QB in pretty much any of his time in Houston and he's been able to make the playoffs multiple years and actually get a playoff win so Colts are showing pressure and they will run some pressure on him Gates is gonna throw under pressure and they're going to say that was complete. Another big gainer for Yates off the bat. Two for two, and he's already got about 50 yards. Excellent catch. Excellent job keeping your feet in bounds. And just like that, the Texans are in the red zone. And that was Will Fuller who's kind of had a resurgence uh, at least for fantasy points yeah it's gonna throw rolls in the pocket and he hits Hopkins on the slant and he's not gonna get there but he will get the first down and it's gotta be the one inch line I mean you can't get any closer than this and it's just a simple slant So the Texans come out firing on the first drive. Let's see if they can get this last inch.
in the eye. Yates going to throw. And he's going to be taken for a sack. So the Colts have their first good defensive play of the game. And it couldn't come at a better time when the Texans are now backed up to the four. And that was a curious play call to throw it on first down. So now they need a good play as they're going to throw again. Yates. Rolls, throws, out of bounds, incomplete. And here's the Texans offense. You, for the last couple years it's been their defense that's had the um, edge I would say, their strength. But the, the uh, offense is coming along, especially with um, Deion, uh, Deshaun Watson. So Yates is going to throw on third down. He's got the touchdown. The Texans get the first score of the game, and it's a touchdown on third down. As it happens, that was their third, first third down attempt of the game. And it's good for six. So just like that, seven plays, 75 yards in just over three and a half minutes. And Chuck Pagano's got to figure something out now. Already down seven to zip. Texans will kick it away. Caught at the five by Rogers. He's going to run it up. He's got get out to about the 25 before he's taken down. And first down and 10 for the Colts as they start their offensive drive. And it's Jacoby Brissett, so it's going to be battle of the backups in this game. And once again, Brissett's going to have an 80 overall. So to see what they can do here on offense with a newly improved Brissett. Brissett under center, running formation for the offense. And it's a play action fake and he's gonna get sacked on his first play. It's a loss of eight. And they're already going backwards on offense. And he had two men in line for the sack. And that's been the biggest problem with the offense for the Colts is their line has been one of the worst in the NFL. And it doesn't matter how good a quarterback you got if your line is literally paper. So, second and 18. Brissett needs a decent play here to get into good range for the first down. And he's going to throw again. Brissett toward the sideline. He hits Rodgers. And it's a decent eight yard gain. They're going to say it was a seven. And third and 11 coming up, which is a lot more manageable than third and 18. Not many plays you can call in a third and 18, but third and 11, it opens up the playbook a little bit. 
but the Texans will be expecting pass. And there will be four receivers for Brissett. Brissett. And he's got some space. He's running for the first down. He's got it and a little more. And they convert. That's an 18-yard pickup by the QB. So the Colts, after giving up that sack on first down, are able to make up the difference and even get some more. And the Colts are going to need a lot more plays like that if they want to win this game. <clears throat> Bounce formation as Brissett's in the shotgun. He's going to throw. Brissett, it's Moncrief who drops it. And it'll be second and ten as we get a look at the Colts' offensive line. There's Frank Gore, T.Y. Hilton. And Frank Gore has just been in the league, it seems like, forever. I think he's 35, 34, and he's still their primary running back. We'll see if that changes in the offseason, but Texans showing pressure, and they will blitz. Gore gets his first handoff, and it's going to go nowhere. So it'll be third and long once again. Third and ten. And four receivers as Brissett's in the shotgun. Getting ready to throw. Brissett rolls to his right. He's bouncing around in the pocket and he just dumps it. So the Colts, after getting that moving the chains once, will have to settle for a punt. And Houston has the momentum in this game so far. Getting the touchdown and the stop as we get to the end of the first quarter. And Sanchez boots it away. It goes well into the end zone. It goes past the end zone, and it's going to be a touchback. So Yates comes out again, trying to double up. Out come the Texans in the eye. Under center is Yates. Hands to Miller up the gut, and Miller's got some space. Two rushes for 24. So he's averaging 12 yards a carry, and that's enough for a first down as the clock runs. And he wasn't even touched until he got to that second level, so. Great running or great blocking can spring any running back, and when you got Miller, you're good. We'll see if they snap this. They will not. So, Houston has the ball, 7 0. End of the first. See you in the second. set for this first and ten. And just everything's working for Houston right now on the offensive side of the ball. They've been throwing, they've been passing, they've been running.
And in the shotgun is Yates. So Yates going to throw over the middle. He's got Malik. He's got a five-yard pickup. And second and five upcoming. So under center is Yates, running formation for the offense. And Miller's going to get it up the gut, and he's going to get stopped for the first time. He's going to get maybe one on the play. As in it was Hawkins. So, third down for the Texans. They were one for one. And that was for the touchdown. So, third and four, four for Yates, and he's got Hopkins. Hopkins gets the first down, his third pick re or reception of the game. And that'll be enough to move the sticks. Under 10 seconds on the play clock, and another running formation as Yates is under center. Yates hands to Miller right. Miller's got space. Big pickup. So he's had pretty good. He's had bangers on three or four of his runs thus far, and Houston doesn't even need to take a chance through the air at this point. They can just keep pounding that ball. He wasn't even touched. So we'll see if Houston elects to keep pounding the rock as they're already in fugal range. Three receivers. Alfred Blue with the carry, and he's going to get stopped right at the line, maybe just a little bit behind. Second and ten coming up. And now Texans have a quandary. Do they have the guts to keep, keep going with the run, or do they want to take a chance in the air and get the, try and get the quick first down? Colts are showing pressure. And they will blitz as Yates gets a decent gain, gain of four on the quarterback play action read, RPO I should say. So Texans are perfect thus far, two for two on third down. Let's see if they can get it again. Keep it perfect. Yates is going to throw. Over the middle, he's got Miller, the running back who spins around the defender. And just like that, Houston's in the red zone again. So Miller's having a pretty good game this far, thus far. Yates is under center. Running formation for the offense. Anderson, touchdown. Texans.
Extra point is good. So, just before the two-minute warning, Houston leads this thing 14-zip. And the Colts do get a chance to score here. And if they can score, they do get the ball in the other half of the halftime show. So Indy King tie this thing up before Houston sees the ball again. As Kane Fairbank is ready to kick it away. They're going to call that a touchback, and the ball is just going to come out to the 25. And so Indianapolis has about 14 seconds to work with before we get to the two-minute warning. And we'll see how risky they are on this first down. They could probably run if they wanted to. It only cost them 14 seconds. The danger of this, though, is if they get three straight incompletions, it's going to be rough. Brissett alone, they're going to throw on first down, and he's just going to run upfield and slide down after a gain of seven for number seven. That's where they've had their biggest plays is through Brissett scrambling. And we've reached the two-minute warning. Houston leads, 14-zip. Colts with the ball. So Colts have a second and short here as we get to the last part of the second quarter. And they've had some time to think about this play. So we'll see what they dial up here on second and three. This might be an opportune time to take a shot. Bunch set of receivers to his left. And movement before the snap. So that's going to give him a free first down. So that might be actually a little bit detrimental to Indianapolis because now they can't get the free play. Or they can't get the uh, shot play and then have an easy third down. They could still work with the shot here, but if it fails, it'll be second and ten versus a third and three. So I guess take, pick your poison. Brissett and the shotgun. He's going to throw, throws immediately over the middle to Jack Doyle, who falls down as soon as he catches the ball. It's a gain of six, and they're going to hurry back to the line. Brissett fakes the handoff. Rolls to his left, throws way downfield, and dangerous throw there. Could have been intercepted. It is not, so it sticks or it stays at third down. That's just a dangerous throw. Trying to go for it all, I get it, but a lot more bad than good come out of that one. So a bunch set of receivers to the left of Brissett as he's in the shotgun. Brissett's going to throw, rolls to his right, throws across his body. He's got Doyle, and he fumbles the ball. Texans ball. Picked up by Jadavion Clowney and Jack Doyle. Can't believe it.
What a savage hit by Clowney to cause that fumble. And just like that, Lamar Miller's going to come out after a short rest. And they'll see if they can make it 21 zip. This is critical for Indianapolis. It might be too big of a hole already if they give up another touchdown here before the end of the second half or the second quarter. Yates is alone in the backfield. Five wide. Yates. And they're going to say it was incomplete. Tried to get him near the sideline, but he only got one foot down. So that stops the clock, and it's second and ten upcoming. Yates going to throw here down the field are they going to say it's completion I think they are first and ten Hopkins what a perfectly thrown pass there <laughs> there is not much room for error with that throw Excellent throw by Yates. And they're going to be in near, pretty much at the edge of field goal range. Already with a minute and a half to play. Yates to Miller, up the gut. Miller makes the defender miss, and he's got a first down. So he's got 5 for 50, 59. If you're getting runs like this, you don't even need to throw it. Just keep it on the ground. So Houston's got a fresh set of downs as we're at just about a minute left in the second quarter. Yates in the shotgun. Yates dump, tries to dump it to Miller, who endures his first loss of the night. Loss of three on the play. And the Texans are going to take a timeout to think about this second and 13 play. Three receivers as Yates is in the shotgun. Yates. Colts sending pressure. Hits Fuller. And they're going to take the timeout immediately. They're in the red zone. We'll see if they can score here. Six points. So Houston's just had a near perfect. Okay, they've had a perfect game. <laughs> um, Yates has two touchdowns, zero picks. He's only missed maybe two throws in this game. And Lamar Miller's also having a big field day. And the defense has only given up two first downs, maybe, on two drives. It's, let's see. They've stopped him twice on third down. So, yeah, the Texans... Just dominating here in the first half. Yates. He's got Hopkins on the slant. And that's a first down. First and goal. Just like that. And clock is running. And Yates will be trying to get his third touchdown of the half. 
which would be a record for Madden Madness. So huddle breaks as we're just under 25 seconds left in the second quarter. Yates is alone in the backfield. Five wide. Yates surveys, throws, hits Alfred Blue, who's going to be dropped for a one-yard gain, and Houston's going to take a timeout. So we'll see if they have to, if they decide to settle or not. Already up 14 points. And so if I'm Houston, you do have a tie you do have a chance to run a play, but you gotta go in zone or incomplete. Just a quick little four second play, five second play. You cannot take a sack here if you're the Texans. I would not expect them to run here. But they will with Miller. And he won't get there. So then now it's a scramble game to spike this ball. Four seconds. Three, two, one. And I don't think they did it. No, it's going to be halftime. So they failed to capitalize there on third and very short to the goal, which might be just what the Colts need. So no halftime for us as we get started for the third. And the, the Colts are going to get the ball, so they can make this a one-possession game. If Houston got a, that touchdown before the end of the second quarter, this one might already be over. But Indianapolis has a chance here to get themselves back in this ball game. Rodgers catches it near the five, and he's going to sprint up. And he's got a really good return out to the 39-yard line. And that's what the Colts needed to start this drive. Good field position. So a Brissett marches on in the field. Trying to erase this shutout. Houston's quadrupled the Colts' offense in this game. Brissett hands it to Gore up the gut, and Gore knocks the defender over as he gets about a five-yard gain out to the 44. Second and four coming up. Texans showing pressure, only one safety in the backfield. Brissett rolls to his right, and he's got space up the gut. He's going to fumble, and he recovers his own fumble. Nearly had disaster on that play. So the Colts will come out now, first and ten, and they'll try and forget about that fumble. We'll see if that makes Brissett a little bit more nervous here in the pocket. Brissett hands to Gore, who has maybe a yard on the pickup. They're going to call it a second and nine. And the Colts will probably have to figure out how they can get this ball in the air. Under center is Brissett. He's going to throw. Oh, nearly intercepted. 
Number 53 right there. Tried to cut the route. Couldn't get the interception, but he got the next best thing, which was an incompletion. So third and long here for the Colts. And they've had trouble here on third down, one for three. Trying to make it two for four. And they'd have to punt from this range. Brissett. Rolls to his right. Cuts up field. He's got the first and a bit more. And he fumbles it again, but this time he doesn't get it back. Picked up by the Texans. And Clowney's got two fumble recoveries in this game. So the Texans come out now for their first possession of the second half. Trying to get that touchdown that they left on the field on their last drive in the second half. Or in the first half. Yates might have got him off sides with his cadence. We'll see what happens with the refs. And it was a free five yards. Still first down. So first and five here for the Texans, and this might be a shot play. See what they elect to do here. Up 14 points. Yates is under center. Yates hands it to Miller, who's blown up in the backfield. Loss of four. Second and nine. So they lost yardage on the play, but it was really just like a one-yard pickup, considering it. They had that first and five to start. So we'll see if Houston elects to stay on the ground here. They do come out in a running formation. Ah, oh, Anderson would have had massive yardage if he would have caught that ball. But incomplete. And he's already got a touchdown in this game. That might have been two. Colts were showing blitz all the way. Gates picked up on it. It is receiver, but his receiver couldn't catch it. So third and nine. Texans have been very solid. Three for four so far. And the last, the only reason that their last third down conversion wasn't a conversion was because the time ran out. Thompson, and he caught it at least, but doesn't get to the first down. It's fourth and two, and Houston might punt. Will probably punt. So Indianapolis has a chance here. Assuming there's no funny business. Leckler. Oh. Nearly blocked. And it's fair caught, but there's a late hit on the play. And where's the flag? Rogers got decked. Okay. <laughs> That's really... Um, forgiving when it comes to that for some reason. Go, 
Brissette comes out under center. Gore. He's got a pretty good gain, eight yards. If he could have stayed up on his feet, he could have gotten that first down, but it's second and two. And I understand that play call totally. The quarterbacks fumbled the ball twice on that last drive. One for one time he lost it. You want to keep that ball out of his hands, let him build some confidence once again. Under centers, Brissett. Gore in the backfield. Gore has the first down and a couple more yards. Out to the 29. And I understand that play call there too. You could go for the shot play, but you're just trying to get a first down and get more plays on the board and keep the ball out of te the Texans' hands. Three receivers for Brissett. Jacoby throws and hits Moncrief on the slant route. He's got a first down and a couple more yards out to the 42. And the Colts are avoiding third down like the plague. For good reason, they're only one for four. Under a minute and a half left in the third as the Colts come out ready for their next snap. Balance formation, Brissett under center. Takes the handoff, Brissett's going to hold on. He rolls to his left and he's gotten upfield once again. He's not going to chance the hit and the fumble, so he'll just slide down after a gain of five. And hopefully that's Brissett learning from his mistakes in this one. Even with two turnovers, Indianapolis has a chance to make this a one-score game. Brissett's in the shotgun on second and five. Hits Doyle, who got the diving catch. And that's a good gainer, too. So Indianapolis is now in field goal territory. Field goal range. And that'll do it for the third quarter, I think. What a catch. That's, in, that's inhuman. All right, end of the third. Colts are driving. Down four, 14 points. So, start of the fourth, beginning it. Who's going to win this one? Set. Left and throws on the run. Hits Hilton, but Hilton only gets one foot down. It's incomplete. set in the shotgun he's gonna throw surveys rolls to his left cuts up field and he's gonna take the tackle again kind of dangerous considering he's fumbled it twice already if I was Chuck Pagano I'd take him aside and say look you have to slide more Second and one is way better than getting the first down and then fumbling it. So 
So Brissett's in the shotgun. Balanced formation for the offense. Brissett's going to throw here. Throws from the pocket, actually. And they're going to say incomplete. Second and ten upcoming. And this is the deepest Indianapolis has gotten all game long. Three receivers. Brissett. Throws. Incomplete. And here comes third and long. The Colts kryptonite in this one. They're one for four. So we'll see if they can get that 25% chance that they need. Brissett alone in the backfield. Brissett throws deep for the end zone, and it's incomplete. He led him too far. So fourth and ten, and Indianapolis has a decision to make. Just under six minutes. I don't know. I don't know. I'm lucky I don't have to make this decision. And they've decided to go for it. So fourth and ten now. Brissett's alone in the backfield. This is likely the game. Brissett's going to scramble. And he's not going to get it. He's only going to get two yards. And I think it's a little bit preemptive to say that was the game, but it definitely doesn't look good for the Colts. They were all over him. They've seen him do that all game long, and they just said, I've had enough. So TJ Yates comes out now. And he hasn't done too much since he threw two touchdowns in the first half. Running formation for the offense. And the Colts need to find out a way if they can stop Miller, who's got the ball now. And they do, at least on this play. No gain on the play. Second and ten. I agree with what Houston's doing, though. You're up 14 points. They really can't score on you. Just run the ball. Take the time off the clock. Yates going to throw. And he hits Miller over the middle, but flag down. We'll see what this is about. Oh, that's a, that's a deflator. You don't have that penalty? It's third and five, which is definitely a doable stop. And Indianapolis had a chance to get the ball back after the next play, but instead it's a fresh set of downs. And Houston can just run a lot more clock off. Yates in the shotgun. Colts showing pressure. Yates fakes it. Throws deep over the middle, nearly picked. Tried to force the completion down the field and try and get the game ending field goal, but incomplete. Nearly picked, it was in his hands. And he's got to be disappointed with that. Yates to Miller. Miller's got, he might have the first down with the last, no, not quite, 30 inches. 
And the Colts have their best chance of this drive to stop them. Even though that chance isn't the best, isn't great. Texans have been decent on third down. Three for five. This is their sixth attempt. We'll see if they can stop them here. Under center is Yates. Just under four and a half to play. Yates throws. It's Anderson who's got the first. And Texans drive will continue. And it's looking pretty rough now for the Colts. Basically, they need a perfect play, perfect game from here on out. They need three and out from here. They need a touchdown without taking any timeouts. Then they need to stop using their timeouts, likely. And then they need to get the ball at the end of this game for a chance to tie it and make overtime and then win in overtime. So <laughs> technically possible, but very difficult. Very, very difficult. Yates is going to throw here on first. Hopkins gets it with the jump and catch. And another first down. And the Texans aren't giving up thus far. They're still playing this one. Up 14. So in the eyes, Yates. Under three to play. It's Alfred Blue who's got a decent gainer. Six yards. Second and four upcoming. Only his second carry of the game. In the eye, Colts are blitzing. Blue gains maybe one, and here comes another third down, third and five. Texans seventh of the game as we reach the two-minute warning. So we'll see this one out when we come back after this. So Texans lead after being shut out in the second half, but they had a very productive first half, and that's the reason why they're winning 14 zip. Colts have been shut out, and they're in very big danger of being the second shut out in Mad Madness. So third and five for the Texans, and the Colts last gasp. Yates is going to throw. Incomplete. He, I think there was a miscommunication because there was only Colts in the area, no Texans. So fourth and five, and the Colts really need a missed field goal. Fairbairn kicks, and it looks to be too low it is. So, miss. Something finally goes the Colts' way. As the Colts now have a chance to make it a one-possession game. Under two minutes left. So the field goal would have knocked the Colts out pretty much. But now they have a chance if they manage to not use their timeouts, they have a chance to tie this game still after being shut out so far in this one. Colts can get down the field without using their timeouts, get the touchdown. And they don't need to necessarily go for the onside kick because they have three timeouts. Five wide as Brissett's going to throw here in the shotgun. Set rolls. He <laughs> bounces around and taken down. Gain of eight on the play, and they're gonna hurry back to the line. And that's Ben Brissett's main gainer is his legs. Brissett 
Throws over the middle and it's just batted away. He could have gone for the pick there instead. Bats it down, it's third and two. And the Colts, who have really struggled on third down, one for five. And that's probably, besides the turnovers, turnovers and you can't convert on third down, you're not going to win many football games. And T.Y. Hilton right now. It's four down territory, obviously, for the Colts. If they somehow don't get this. Brissett. Oh, nearly threw another pick. Had a chance, but these aren't receivers. These are <laughs> defensive linemen and linebackers. So fourth and two now. And the Colts will have one more chance to erase this shutout. Nearly gets him offsides, but Gore's going to run up the gut, and he gets there with the final push. And they're going to hurry back to the line. So Colts still have a, some life left in them. Brissett throws, and he hits Travis. And that's the first time I've seen a Colt open all game long. And he's out of bounds, which stops the clock. So a minute 11, you're at the 31. What are you going to do here? We'll see. Colts are going to throw, obviously. For set. Sails it too long, incomplete, too high for his receiver. He could have had the completion, but it might have been better to, for it to fall incomplete and save some time on the clock. Three receivers for Brissett, who's under center, and he's going to throw. Hit Moncrief. Hurry back to the line. Third and one. Oh, and I think it's a false start. Terrible timing. That might be the final nail in the coffin here. It'll make it a third and six. Four receivers. Percet. Throws it deep toward the end zone. Incomplete. Try to get his man. He might have had it if he had thrown a little bit shorter on that throw, but sails over his head, and it's going to be just under a minute left in the fourth as we get to a fourth and six. Flag down, we'll see what this is about, and I think they got him off sides. And this should give the Colts a little bit more hope. Maybe from 1% hope to 2%, but a little bit more hope nevertheless, as the Colts now have another final gasp. We'll see if they can convert this one. Set under center, showing run. Set to Gore, and there's a flag down. We'll see if this will end the game or not. And this should end the game.
And it will. Houston gets the ball. Indianapolis with three timeouts and only 35 seconds left. Are going to be shut out here in Lincoln Financial. This will be the second shutout of the game or of Mad Madness. The other was a 21-0 beat down by the Kansas City Chiefs over the San Diego or Los Angeles Chargers. And the Colts will take a timeout now. So Houston is going to move on. It's just a matter of time, and we'll take a look at the bracket. Here's the bracket, bottom left-hand corner of your screen. They will play the winner of the Jacksonville Jaguars and the Tennessee Titans. As Yates is going to hand it to Miller once again and run some more clock. Indianapolis is going to take a timeout, and they're still trying to get the ball back. Playoff football, so you never stop. Third and five for the Texans. First down will end the game. Otherwise, Indianapolis might get a chance to throw some Hail Marys. Texans are four for seven. This will be their eighth attempt on third down. Showing blitz are the Colts. Yates is going to throw here deep down the field and incomplete. So Indianapolis saves the timeout and Houston will punt here. Shane Leckler back to punt. And the kick's away. Good kick. Out to the 11 where Rodgers will pick it up and be knocked down after a gain of about 9 at the 20. So 12 seconds left. Indianapolis. And it might take one play to get a little bit closer. But they'll just be taking some Hail Marys. Four receivers. And Mary trips for Brissett. Brissett throws immediately. And he's picked off. It's Joseph. So the Colts end the day with three turnovers. Two by Brissett, one fumble by Brissett, one interception, Jack Doyle with one turnover. And they finish the day one for six on third down. Three seconds left and Houston should just take the knee here. Big three formation. There's the knee. And Indianapolis is going to take a timeout for no other reason but to get ready for those press or post game press conferences. So 
So I'll show you once again the bracket right there. So we got two more games left in the first round. We're going to have Jacksonville taking on the Titans next, followed by the Falcons taking on the Bucks. And that'll do it for the first round. So how did you guys like the first round? Let us know in the comments. As they come out for the final kneel of the game. That's it. Texans advance. The Texans won 14-0. And they'll get to move on to the next round. So was your prediction right? Let us know. And if you want to see the Texans and see if they can make it all the way to the championship, be sure to subscribe, like the video, and if you enjoyed it, I hope you did. Until next time, this is Phantom Roy saying, have a good one.